Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This would be our last discussion for our um, properties of a rhombus, a square, and a rectangle. Medyo nagulo. But in any case, ito po. We will be discussing the final um, kind of a parallelogram, which is the square. And I told you before that the in according to our family tree, okay, square is at the bottom, meaning uh, the square will have or must have the properties of a rectangle, a rhombus, and also the parallelogram. Okay? So, uh, let's test it out. Let's test out that would be 5 for the pro parallelogram, 2 for the rectangle here, and 2 for the rhombus. So, that would be 9 properties in all. Okay? So, let's test it out starting from the parallelogram. And let's go to GeoGebra for that. Okay? And let me just delete all the figures in this one. Yeah. Let's create a square. Eight. Uh, I don't think it's a 3. Yeah, this is a 3 by 3 square. Yeah. So, let's create our square. Now, in this figure, ang sabi dun sa unang property is that the diagonals are of a parallelogram divides the figure into two equal parts. So, let's create our diagonal here. And let's try to check whether the figure is an actually, is actually, wait lang ha, let me create a polygon again. If the figure is actually um, two equal triangles, if they are two equal triangles, they will have the same area. Definitely yes. So check tayo sa ulang property, which is uh, the diagonal will divide the figure or the parallelogram into two equal triangles. Okay, so we are good there. Now let's go to our um, second property. The opposite sides are congruent. Dapat daw yung magkabilang side, they must be congruent. Three. 3 opposite sides good 3 and another 3 opposite sides good pa ren congruent pa ren so therefore it checks out good tayo diyan okay so property 2 check next property number 3 opposite angles are congruent so let's check the measure of our angles in this figure and oh uh, not that sorry should be like this one ayan 90 degrees Another 90 degrees, and another 90 degrees, and another 90 degrees. Opposite angles, let's check. 90, 90, good. 90 and 90, good. Property 3, we are good. Property number 4, consecutive angles are supplementary. Add natin yung mga magkakatabing angles. 90 degrees plus 90, 180, good. 90 plus another 90, 180 pa rin. And the same goes for every given consecutive angles. Therefore, property number two, 4 is a big check. And let's go to property number 5. Diagonals bisect each other. Okay, diagonals bisect each other. So, let's create our diagonal. Okay, let's create our diagonal here and another diagonal here. And let's just uh, create this middle point here. Ayan. Okay. So, let's try to measure. Ano bang, ano bang distance nila? Or anong measurement? Kung equal ba talaga? 2.21 and another 2.21. And next, 2.21, ay, 2.12 pala, sorry. And another 2.12. Therefore, again, etong AE, etong buong AC, nahati siya sa gitna sa E. Yung AE is 2.21 and CE is 2.12. Sorry, 2.12. Etong DB na hati sa gitna at E, DE is 2.12 and BE is 2.12. Definitely check din tayo sa property number 5. And in our square, we have the properties of a rectangle. It has 4 right angles. Check 90 90 90 90. Good. So therefore a square is a rectangle and a square is also a parallelogram. Next one. Property number 2, diagonals are congruent. So, let's try to remove this one. Kasi sabi lang naman, diagonals are congruent. So, let's try to measure yung buong diagonal natin. Etong AC, ano kaya measure niya? It's 4.24. Etong DB, again, it's 4.24. So, therefore, proves our point that dia diagonals are congruent. So, check tayo sa property 2 ng rectangle. Okay, and let's go to rhombus naman. Rhombus will have these two properties, diagonals are perpendicular and diagonals bisect the angles. So, let's go to the first one, diagonals daw ay perpendicular. Kaya sabihin lang nun, kapag may diagonal ka, 
90 degrees yung intersection nila. Ito dito sa gitna. So, measure natin yung angle. So, let's measure the angles. 90 degrees. And the thing about this one, kapag may isa kang 90, 90 na yan lahat. So, therefore, kung 90 yan, we are good on property number 1 ng rhombus. Okay? And on our um, property number 2, diagonals bisect the angles. So, let's try to check in our GeoGebra again. Let's uh, delete this measurement. Same goes dito and then dito. Okay? Sabi lang dyan, oh, sorry, sorry. Sabi lang naman dyan, guys, would be the diagonals bisect the angle. So, ibig sabihin, itong angle na to, mahati sa dalawa. Mahati sa dalawa, and hati sa dalawa, and hati sa dalawa. And, 90 divided by 2, kasi diba 90 degrees yan. 90 divided by 2 is 45. Therefore, kapag sinukat natin yan, dapat yan ay 45 degrees. Let me measure that again. 45 degrees, right? And another 45 degrees. Considering na lahat ng angles natin ay congruent in a square, therefore, everything is divided into 45-45. So, ito, mag if you will check, yan. Sorry. Okay, ma'am, I think I did it wrong. So, let's try to measure the angles on this one. Yan, 45. 45 again. And it would be consistent for every angles here. Okay? So, that would be it. May very easy lang. Remember, ang square ay isang parallelogram at isa ring rhombus at rectangle. Therefore, all properties of all the existing um, parallelograms will be applicable to a square. Okay, take note. Ito mga na-discuss lang natin na properties. And this property na 1 to 5 for parallelogram, property 1 and 2 for rectangle, and property 1 and 2 for the rhombus. And you may, you may ask, so, um, paano ba natin talaga nalalaman kung rhombus, rectangle, or square siya? Um, it's very obvious pagdating sa measurement ng sides, okay? Let me just uh, sh show this to you. Bakit wala sa property natin yung equal sides and all, okay? Bakit wala doon? Kasi when you try to apply all these uh, properties um, and you try to analyze it, um, you try to analyze it using proofs in geometry, you will come up with the basic property of a rectangle being it's a four-sided figure. And it's a four-sided figure with congruent sides. Yan. With opposite congruent sides. Yan. Yan yung rectangle natin. A square is of course a four-sided figure with all sides that are equal and may 90 degrees. And the same goes, ang rhombus lang naman is a four-sided figure with all congruent sides but um, no 90 degrees. Yes, yan. So, this would be our 3 rectangle, yan, square, and a rhombus. Okay? So, that would be all, everyone, for our um, properties. Um, we will go to our next one, which is the trapezoid, on our next video. So, if you would have any other question regarding our topic, just kindly view the video again or ask me in our class. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.